All right, man, you can go on and tell the people your name for the people that don't know where you're from. Man, Mr. Kane, bro. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, man. What it was like for you growing up in Baton Rouge? Man, it was, it was neutral, man. It was my society, so I just lived it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whatever came with it, I, I stood up. You know what I'm saying? I've been in the ghetto. I've been in the good parts. So. What parts you know in the group? I grew up in Glen Oaks. I grew up, I grew up all over Baton Rouge. You know what I'm saying? But I grew up in Glen Oaks. But I grew up in Dixon too. I used to be in Dixon, Skyland. I was in all of the sections. But I grew up in Glen Oaks though. <laughs> and what about your life? You want the fans to know that don't that they already don't know about you? See, I'm a real guy. <laughs> you can't you can't just take from what you heard from somebody else. Or you what you think you know? You got to get to know me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Alright, uh, what was the reason you started rapping? Man, I ain't got no reason. Like, like I ain't, like, at one time, bro, that shit just was really like a, that shit was more so like a talent. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Young niggas, old niggas get on top of you and shit. Get behind you and shit and see you got that talent. And they knew the game instead of getting a nigga the game. They try to get that money off me. Get that money off me and shit. But it really just was for the, it was a talent that I had. Mm -hmm. Who was some of the people motivated? For us, what, like rappers, rappers street yeah. niggas, all that shit. Yeah. Rapping wise or? Rapping wise. Rapping wise. Man, bro, I just like rap, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It had niggas in my section. Like, it had Lil Handy when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But Handy got the collab with Cash Money. So, it was just it was just a whole experience of seeing that shit. It wasn't like no specifics because I don't want to see nobody out because a lot of them niggas inspired me to do what I do. Yeah. All right, so the Kane movement, how did I start? That's a nickname. That was my nickname and shit. I really took it like I took it and, and utilized it. Like you know, I fuck a female or something. I'd be like, "You a Kane? You Kane?" Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I made it a sense. I made it a name for me. So, who signs up there? If I ain't here, there ain't no more late. Oh, really? So, I'm telling you something, whether nobody noticed the first time I'm saying this, but it came in with shit, that shit did. You want to get into it? Why? Not really. Okay. Uh, a couple of people you associate with, associate with, did I hit them with one and Gus? Say, say, say it again. Juan and Gus. Yeah, my little niggas. They were some young niggas that wanted to do what I'm still doing now. Mm -hmm. Rap. That's all. They ain't know about monetizing nothing. They ain't know about nothing. They ain't know where to take it or nothing. But they just had that passion like me. And shit. I stood behind them niggas like, I'm like, shit, I'm, I'm a big bro. So now I want to do this. I like doing this. Let's do this shit, nigga. Let's start a movement. You know what I'm saying? And them niggas was down with that shit. I, when I was out in Kane, them niggas was out in Kane. You feel me? How you, uh, what you like to tell people about the uh, best member of them? They were genuine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't meet them because I was doing something or because I had something, because I knew something. The niggas just, uh, just adapted to me. You feel me? Like, they did it for real. My young. Man. Yeah. All right, so your manager, Jay Dirty, he just passed away. What you be telling us about him? What kind of person he was? He was a G, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean. How you think his uh, death affected the bad roots? See, the thing is, yeah, but let me tell you something. Nigga, bad roots fucked up. Why you say that? Because, like, you know what I'm saying? Man, it's deep, bro, and I don't really want to go too deep, bro, but I feel like Baton Rouge don't know what they lost when they lost Dirty, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was an asset. There was no liability, man. They were treating them like a liability, though, but that's how the streets of Baton Rouge is, though, you know what I'm saying? There's a liability out there. All right, so uh, with the murder show, you think it was a good thing or a bad thing? Because that helped you really show the people who was really going at the lowest point in your life? I mean, it depends on what, what, what aspect. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, like, it helped you sing out while you sitting in that cell. It helped you 
see you yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I played it, played it parts. It played its, its parts because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I went through a situation, I went through a trial, mm-hmm. I went through jail time, you know what I'm saying? I went through a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Being lied on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I went through the utmost shit. Like, niggas, niggas was, you know what I'm saying? Really trying to assassinate really? my character, you feel me? And, and I ain't proud of myself about killing no nigga or nothing like that. And I ain't never said I killed no nigga, you know what I'm saying? I just was charged with a murder, you feel me? So, like, it helped me in certain ways, you know what I'm saying? And it hurt me in certain ways, too, because, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, you got to be one with your city, you know what I'm saying? You in this music industry shit, you know what I'm saying? And it had a lot of niggas that, in my city, I feel despise the fact that I overcame that case and, 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 and my value started depreciating in my section because motherfuckers had expectations of me like not coming home, you feel me? They like, fuck it, he did this shit, he gone, you know what I'm saying? They ain't, I ain't never been in no real situation from nobody that had no take on me. That was my real situation that everybody, well, I have been in real situations. I've never got caught for them bitches, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But, you know what I'm saying? Some shit I got caught on and shit, motherfuckers ain't, they ain't got no high hopes for niggas, man. Not bad real, bro. That's not, we not based off hope, man. We don't, we don't live off faith out there, man. And them niggas don't, them niggas don't want niggas to walk by what they see. You know what I'm saying? What they grew up with. Bro. So that shit hurt me in a sense. But it helped me in a sense too, because when I first came home off of that shit, I was making shit loads of money. Bitch was on my dick because they feel like I was a big killer gangster nigga, you feel me? And I still, I still didn't even cope with myself after doing that shit. You know, I, you know, I, yeah, like that shit happened. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that shit really happened. That's what niggas don't understand though. These niggas don't understand shit, bro. These niggas is goofy. Like I ain't telling no nigga. Like I respect the shooter. I ain't telling no nigga not to do nothing. If your life in jeopardy, nigga, smush some, kill, kill, go. You know what I'm saying? Blaze of glory, go out. You know what I'm saying? But. At the same time, these niggas really don't be going through the process like that, man. These niggas don't go through the trial and the jail time and the losses you gotta take it. You know what I'm saying? These little family, friends, bitches, mm-hmm. hoes, money. Oh, damn, they do something to lose in that shit and all that shit, man. These niggas be getting lucky, man. Yeah. Hey, what you think the reason Bad Rouge all this beat so much? That's just his life. It's how we, it's what we was taught. It's how we was raised up, man. Niggas ain't, man, for, you talking about Baton Rouge rappers, man. Baton Rouge family members be beefing with each other, yeah, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They got all type. They got fucking LGBT community. The punks and shit be having battles and shit. Man, I ain't entertaining that shit, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing against nobody, man. But Baton Rouge just have everybody against everybody. They got, it's, it's like an open, it's an open arena. You know what I'm saying? You think it'll give up? I ain't no hope for that. I just told you, ain't no hope and faith out there. It's 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 it's, 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 it's a man. It's a culture. It's a way of life, bro. We booted up, man. We fucked up. We thugging, like niggas thugging, man. You think that's the reason you made a move from uh, Houston from Baton Rouge from Houston? Nah, I did that for me. Oh, okay. my peace of mind. Like Baton Rouge, I can live in the middle of that bitch. Mm-hmm. I have lived in the middle of that bitch, so I don't want nobody to think I love for. No reason. Mm-hmm. I love for my own cause, my own sanity, my own motherfucking reason, my own. I've done that for my own reason, nothing else. No other reason. Mm-hmm. Like, I can go stand in the middle of that bitch. Well, why? why? I got $55,000 on my wrist. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm fucking bad as whole. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas that think they good, I'm fucking niggas, wives, old ladies and shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking driving motherfucking out as eight eights out through that bitch, big luxury car and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. New Camaro's dropping, copping one. You know? And but I'm doing it, I'm having my way low key. I ain't even flexing this shit, but you know people see that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And people despise a lot of shit where I'm from. That's what it is. They they despise, they despise it. Hey, would you say rap really is a dangerous job? Yeah, yeah. Why you say that? I'm explaining everything is, is repeating everything. It's, ain't no, ain't no hope, ain't no faith. Mm-hmm. 
Niggas don't, niggas don't, niggas see a nigga doing something, bro, and nigga ain't got nigga on, nigga had nigga lose focus of their talent. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And a nigga will really destroy themselves to destroy what you got going on. Mm. And I ain't just saying this in Baton Rouge, bro, that's probably all over the world. That's in fucking Jamaica, nigga. Yeah. That's in Africa, that's everywhere. But Baton Rouge, I witnessed it firsthand. So I'm speaking in the sense of Baton Rouge. Yes, yeah, they spiteful out there, man. They won't see what the next person got going on. Mm-hmm. And some people be getting offended by I think it's the power plants we got now and shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, how COVID affected your uh, year last year? Who that? COVID, COVID-19. Who that? The uh, coronavirus. Oh, I don't know about the coronavirus. <laughs> you ain't worried about it? Yeah, I mean, it's all good. I be staying sanitized. I was doing that shit for coronavirus. Mm-hmm. I like I thought, You know, I've been to the pen, man. I can take four or five baths a day. That's how I be living. I be clean, bro. I clean my house with bleach before we clean about it. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying it affected your mind wise with doing shows and all that? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. All right, that and that, that way. Yeah. yeah, man, I ain't do a show in about nine months. You know what I'm saying? Like eight, eight months ago, I was in fucking uh, Palm Beach, Florida. I had done a little venue. Me and Lil Dirk and Rallo Rodriguez. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I ain't really been doing no show. I ain't really been doing no show and shit. I still be getting feature money and my streams. I'm still doing good, pay the bills and shit like that, other shit, whatever. All right, man, let's go on and wrap it up. Uh, who you want to shout out and what other people expect from you coming up in the future? I'm still working, man. If you watching me, man, you know what it's in for. You know what I'm dropping. You know what I'm bringing to the table. Uh, shit. You say who I want to shout out, bro. Every yeah, young nigga that's doing their thing, and every old nigga, it ain't no difference. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All that oh, old niggas, this and that, this and that, man. I'm in between. Like I came up with the young niggas, and I fuck with old niggas. You feel me? Yeah. So I don't see the difference because everybody grinding. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then I ain't with that telling no young nigga not to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Not to stand his ground, not to handle his business. I'm with all that. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, just shout out to everybody doing that shit. That's how I feel about it. Like, hey, you ever had a problem with any one of these rappers? I done, I, done, I done bump heads with a few niggas. Hey, it got, it got a nigga, bro. I don't know if this nigga a rapper or nothing. That nigga been on my dick for 10 years. <laughs> What's his name? Man, fuck that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he know who he is. Like, what you mean? How you been on there? Nah, nigga just be speaking. Speaking, speaking lies, and niggas just try. When, when my name come up, he jump on the subject. I guess that's his way of getting on. You know what I'm saying? He been mm-hmm. doing it for a long time, so I hope the bro, I hope the bro accomplish what he be on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's all you did with Dolph. You think y'all, y'all uh, do an album together? Oh my boy, man, Dolph a real nigga, bro. And Dolph one of the niggas in the industry that. I always been the same no matter what what my what my level been like if I if I elevated stayed the same or depreciated, mm-hmm. bro I always handled me the same way like a real nigga, you feel me? Hey oh uh, last year we lost King Von and Mo Three. You ever had a chance to meet either one of them? I never met King Von, I met Mo Three. Oh yeah, what was your experience for it It was like shit. Just on some you know what I'm saying, we knew the same folks, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. we ended up in the same vicinity and just hollered at each other, you know. I don't be knowing nothing about no niggas' personal lives and nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? I seen he was doing a lot of shit on the ground, man. Them niggas be tripping with that. What's your reaction on when you already got killed? I mean, see, I'm the type of nigga, I'm, I'm prone to death, so that did not really bother me, you know? So, I just saw that shit. Like, How you manage to stay safe when you uh, go into your shows and house in the street? Man, I got that eye on me right now. You don't even know. The pocket right here. <laughs> man, I don't know if they're going to video, but... Now nah, I'm going to go. Man. My wearing, I got these glasses on, but... I'm, I'm looking at everything in this room, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be aware, I be alert. You know what I'm saying? And I don't be alert in a sense like I'm worried that something's going to happen to me, but I'm just know, I just know things happen, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So I just go on a place in a sense of... In a sense of, uh, I'm secure, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna go in here secure, and I'm gonna go in here protected, so I prepare myself before I go in places, you know what I'm saying? I prepare myself before I go in there. 
You think about like going in the right spots too? Nah, it ain't about that because some can happen anyway. Yeah, you you right. feel me? Things happen in anyway. what thing happen on this elevator. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Motherfucking anything. You know what I'm saying? But you, it's just about how you how you conduct yourself. You know what I'm saying? How you react. You know what I'm saying? Like if I hear shots popping, I'm not finna stick my head out. Mm -hmm. You know the groundhog. This nigga stick his shit out once a year. You feel me? He he know what it's hitting for. Yeah. He know when to pop out. You feel me? That's just a, just as a, a, a example. You feel me? So, like, when certain things going on and certain events and certain shit, I know when I'm supposed to pop out. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I ain't just out there making myself vulnerable, prone, ass in for no nigga. Like, it ain't. It ain't gonna happen. Because niggas be looking for a repertoire. Niggas looking for a repetition. I mean, I mean, a, 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 a niggas looking for a repetition. Huh? Get straight off your name. Like, if somebody do something, oh, I did Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get at. Niggas be looking for that shit, bro. Niggas be looking for the. Man, niggas looking for to take your title, bro. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Especially if you on that high horse and you on that throne. Especially, bro, check this out. They got some. They got some people that just have a mindset to conquer. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And certain folks have certain ways of conquering and shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga might want to kill some. Nigga might want to rape some. Nigga might want to rob some. Nigga might want to shoot some. They gotta conquer this this urge they have. You feel me? And I'm the type of person. I overcame all that shit that want to do any of that unnecessary shit and made something of myself. So I'm vulnerable to that shit. So I got to be prepared to go to these places expecting, I ain't, nigga, I ain't, I ain't tripping about no nigga raping me. I don't know what but for a drive and shit like that. Man, you got to be prepared. Like, that shit can happen, bro. You know what I'm saying? Around them fucking... Johnny, they be walking around. They be walking, so you gotta, you don't, you don't know what them, what them, you know what I'm saying people are homeless and shit like that, man. And that's that's the smaller thing. I'm talking about being in a club, the venue, five thousand niggas, and you know niggas be on your dick. The yeah. girls don't even get to get to you. Niggas, niggas might see what you watch on, niggas see you spending money in the club and all that. Oh yeah, let's go get them after they follow them. I'm saying, nigga, nigga, on you, nigga, duck, nigga, don't know how to. And I'm, I'm, I'm on top of that. I'm on top. I'm on top of. I'm, I'm prepared for a nigga to come around me twitching and flinching and glitching and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm two steps ahead like that. You know what I'm saying? You better have a motherfucking health issue. So when you go, you take a team with you? You got a team? Nah, man. I ain't with all that. I ran with a crowd before, bro. Yeah. And that shit, bro, it make you prone to accident. Mm -hmm. Like, man, it's about what you putting out there in the atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? I rap about gangster shit. You know, I rap about busting heads. I rap about reality females going through problems and things like that so i know what type of crowd i got you feel me mm -hmm. i might got some head busting in this motherfucker i might got some ratchet business some beautiful women some this type of people you know what i'm saying i'm not finna go in here and roll these people wrong when i know exactly what i'm walking myself into i'm coming in with respect and the only way something transpires is somebody disrespect i'm not gonna get an opportunity to take me down no either because yeah. I ain't going for the extra disrespect shit. You rub, rub me wrong, I'm, we on guard. We need to come on and get up out of here because it's going to turn out bad. Not for y'all's sake, for my sake, because I know how I'm thinking. Just me. Kane, man. I'm in here with checking my TV, man. We wrapping it up. Exclusive interview from a gangster believer.